Hi guys, in this video we are gonna learn how to run a test cases which is a synchronous process and we are gonna also configure our JS library because whenever like we are running it using npm test whenever the test cases are fulfilled or failed it's going to block out it's going to return to the command prompt so let's see how can we do this so in our package.json just in our uh, here in the script uh, in the script in here the test we are just gonna write chest space test as watch what it will do like uh, it will run as a node money in here so we are gonna just run it npm test and in our mad.test.js we're gonna see how can we uh, use a asynchronous process in here so in here you can see in our command prompt let's say i am going to zoom out here so in here you can see let's uh, press w to watch more and here you can see that uh, all the options are here like to run all the tests we can use a to run only the failed test we can use f and these are all other options and you can see in the documentation if you want to so if we type a it will run again all the test cases and if you want to see only the failed test cases to run you can use f so yeah that's how we can use the chest as a as to restart the function properly now we are gonna see how can we use a test uh, asynchronous process we can use here so let's see uh, so test asynchronous let's say async and we are using callback here and in here we are just gonna use set timeout set timeout and we are gonna call back and we are gonna call back and let's say give 2 second so 2000 millisecond and here we are just gonna use the expect so if let's say it is wrong let's say expect one dot to be two which is a failed test cases but now if we run it just save it here and it is going to run in here and you will see that it it has been passed or it should not be passed because it is a failed test cases so that's why it is giving an error so how can we do this how can we collect this so in here the chest file just library give one say to give an argument and let's see you can give any argument in here i am giving the done in the previous like in the rest api we are using the next value for the next argument as a middleware so in here we are using done and in here done it says like uh, whenever it's uh, reading to a done like whenever see the done argument then it's going to be like uh, see that all the test cases has been passed so now in here you can see that it is giving an error and it is saying it expected to but received one so this is some small thing that we can do but we are using async await for a proper use so this is not how we are gonna use so first of all we are gonna let's uh, uh, create one promise function in here so we're gonna use add function in here as a promise and we're giving two argument as a ab and what it will return it will return a promise so if we use return new 
promise and it, it is taking two argument that is resolve and reject and yeah now in here we are going to set a set timeout which will take let's say two second and here we are just gonna say that if a is uh, less than zero or b is less than zero then we are gonna reject means it is going to be fail to reject new error number should be should to be non-negative which is not if it is negative so if it is true then if it is means it will not give any error then we are gonna resolve it to give the sum resolve a plus b so this is our promise function and we know that it is going to give uh, failed cases failed test cases so we're gonna just uncomment out uh, comment out and we're gonna just create a new test cases in here and let's say give the name should return sum of two number so in here uh, we're gonna use the done function here first we're gonna see the primitive one like we are going to use the done and uh, and in here we are just gonna call the function in here so what it will return it means we are going to use the dan function to add we are going to adding 3 and 2 and then we are calling dan which will give the sum and what we expect we expect sum dot to be 5 yeah we are expecting it to be 5 now if we run it it will not give any error because we haven't used the done function in here yeah you can see that it is not giving an error oh yeah yeah just to uh, use w and just use uh, f in here yeah it's giving an error so we are gonna use the done here and now if you run it You can see in here that it has passed all the test cases. Should calculate total tape, should calculate all the so return sum of two number. Now in here this is the old fashioned way. We are gonna use the async await function. So how can we use this? So same thing we're gonna use. We're gonna see in here that it's an async function in here. And also also there is no need for this now there is no need for async done and uh, we are gonna just uh, because it returns a promise then we are just gonna use expect const sum is equal to we can use in here await function in here and use the add function here and use the 1020 and we know what it will return it will return the expect sum dot to be 30 and now if you run it we can see in here that uh, the test cases has been passed and we are using the async await function and we don't need a done in here just as an argument in here 